Hey, what's up guys? I just got off work and now it's time to go head to the gym. Today is chest and try day. In about two months, I'm gonna be competing in the Oregon Powerlifting State Championship. Today marks the start of my training camp for this meet. It's time to get that strength back up to what it used to be. So sit back and watch me go destroy my body. Let's check it out. I am Gamer Who Lives. Alright guys, so here we are. We are pulling up to my gym right now. Just give it a sec. Here we are. We are here. We are at location at Golden Age Iron in Vancouver, Washington. If you're looking to get strong, this is the gym for you. Anyways, let's start this workout. We're going to jump right into the very first workout, which is the good old fashioned barbell bench press. This is the most important lift to increase your overall bench press strength. Here you see me warming up with just the barbell. I want to make sure that the chest, delts, and triceps are all warmed up before placing a heavy load onto them. It's good to make sure all muscle fibers are firing correctly before you put them under any stress. Otherwise, injuries can occur. I know this because I've had my fair share of injuries from not properly warming up. A pulled hamstring, a torn meniscus, and a herniated disc. The list goes on and on. Here I add 225 for a quick set of 10. Then 275 for a quick set of 5. Now by this point my body is warmed up thoroughly and I know that I'm ready to handle heavier weight. Time to put 315 on the bar for a set of 6. I finished this lift with a 1 rep max at 355. Probably could have gone up another 20 pounds, but didn't have any spotters available. Best not to risk it. Next, we move on to the dumbbell presses. I start with 110 pounds for a quick eight reps. Then I move to 115 pounds for six reps. Lastly, I finish with 125 pounds for 4 reps. I try to go for 6 or until failure. Now I'll show you one of my favorite chest exercises, the dumbbell chest flies. These are great for getting a stretch to those chest muscle fibers. I find it's better to keep a bend in my elbows and not go any lower than my chest. Otherwise you risk injury to your rotator cuff. I usually start with 50 pounds and gradually work my way up to 65, lowering the reps if needed. That's it for chest, now I'm moving on to triceps. The first exercise is dips. I'm using just body weight, nothing extra, and we'll do three sets of 20.
Next workout are skull crushers. These are my favorite workout for the triceps. I usually start at about 110 pounds and work my way up to about 130 and will hit 8 to 10 reps. Now I move on to the cable tricep pull down. I think these are great for making your triceps look huge, but for helping with overall bench press strength, I don't see them all that effective. I like to start my first set with 12 reps, increasing the weight and lowering the reps by two each set. Here is a very similar movement to the tricep pull down, the dumbbell tricep kickback. These are great for building a thick muscular tricep head. I keep the weight pretty light, usually around 30 pounds, and do three sets of 10 reps with each arm. The last exercise of today's workout is the overhead dumbbell tricep extension. Now at this point, my triceps are pretty exhausted, so I'm going to keep the weight pretty light. I'll start with 100 pounds and work my way up to 110. I shoot for 8 to 10 reps, or until failure, and do this for 3 sets. Alright guys, that concludes today's chest and tri workout. I hope you liked this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button on the way out, and thanks for watching. See you next time.